All right, welcome to the beginning programming tutorial series. This is a new tutorial series that I'm starting for people who want to learn how to program. Um, I want to talk more about this course and the reason why I've titled it beginning programming in comparison to um, me not having called it Java programming or C programming, etc. I'll talk about that later on. Um, I'm swaying away from teaching security video, um, posting security videos and uh, teaching more about track, web cracking. I'm, I'm moving away from that so I can actually start teaching programming. And this is uh, the first course that I want to actually put onto YouTube, which is the whole series of all of the things necessary for one to learn how to program. <clears throat> so why would you want to learn how to program? Well, I mean, um, your reason may be because you might want to do it for fun or you might want to fill a need maybe someone's told you that you want to um, they wanted this application or maybe you've identified that you could create an app or something like that um, whatever the need may be whether it be programming for the iPhone or creating a desktop application for your Windows machine etc um, you might want to change careers or you might just want it just to be intellectually challenged whatever your reason you've come to the right place as this is this course will teach the fundamentals of programming so what is programming programming is is problem solving a program is a sequence of instructions that are you put these sequence of instructions together to solve a particular task now these sequence of instructions are the ones you write these lines of code but what do these lines of code do well they solve a problem so programming in essence is problem solving now if you're not good at problem solving then slowly slowly the more you program and the more you the more you practice and practice eventually you will actually become a better problem solver there's books on problem solving but in general you know sometimes it comes with experience um, problem solving actually does incorporate the pro uh, the process of decomposition where with any large problem especially when I think with any large programming problem you should break, always break it down into you have to break it down into small smaller steps <clears throat> and then eventually put all of these smaller steps together and then create a which will help you to actually build this one big solution for your problem so it's, it's, it's decomposing a problem into smaller smaller problems and smaller 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 solvable problems and eventually, um, once you get to these really small solvable problems, you can put them all together to solve your one big larger problem. This will become more clear later on. If you don't understand this, it's not a problem. Um, like I said, problem solving and um, these, these processes, these all will come with the experience. So what is the problem? Why is it that I've decided to do this course? And why is it that i'm not actually going to teach you a specific language in this course well when you learn programming or when you look on uh, different video series online you notice that every course most programming co courses consist of two um two sets or two um <coughs> two parts two incorporations actually so the first incorporation you have is that you are required to learn the programming concepts and paradigms so if you're a completely new programmer you when you watch this series you're actually learning different concepts within programming you're learning about conditions and statements uh, loops and object orientation etc with that and that's where paradigms come in but on top of this you're also having to learn the language syntax and constructs so for example if you look at java programming course online you notice that if you're completely new to program, you're having to learn the concepts and paradigms of programming plus the language syntax, plus the language syntax and constructs, and that's a lot to take in. That's a bit too much, and I found that um, that evidence for this of it being too much is that if you look on most programming courses online, you notice that the first few videos they get the most views, but as you go midway towards the end, the views start to decrease because many people at first they really want to learn how to program but once they watch a few videos or two they just realize you know what they just end up closing the videos and stop watching them and I think this is a big problem this really puts people off programming they don't want to learn how to program so I think these two things should be separated they should be broken up so what's the solution? well the solution I think 
and the solution that I'm going to incorporate in this video series is teach your programming concepts on different paradigms separately. I'm not going to teach you a language. Throughout this course, I'm going to teach you the concepts, fundamentals of programming and the different paradigms separately. So I'm not going to bog you down with the language. You're not going to here and there I might throw, throw snippets to help exemplify a point or a concept but I'm not actually going to teach you a language. By the end of this course, you will not become a Java programmer, you will not become a C programmer, but you will, what you will become is a person who is familiar and ready to pick up any language. You've already understood all the concepts, all you need to, then after this course, then all you would need to actually pick up the syntax for a particular language and the different constructs. And um, to put it simply, be on your way to become a very good programmer. Um, <clears throat> in future I have more um, series teaching different languages so that will follow after this course my expectation is that um, after this course is that you have really understood well the concepts of programming and the paradigms um, and one thing is that you, for programming you need to have you know the acronym DCI you need to have the desire to want to program the curiosity be able to th and the imagination be able to think outside the box at times now this is time consuming programming is not actually difficult but it's very time consuming but the amount the amount of hours the number of hours that you put in will determine um, the level at which your programming um, <clears throat> level of your programming for so example so if you if you put minimal time into this then you know you won't really you won't really get much back if you put a lot of the time into learning these concepts on programming then uh, eventually you would really you you become a very good programmer and i can almost guarantee that as as evidence for myself and as evidence for many programs who will tell you the same thing the more time you put into it the more practice the, the better you become so that's it so that's this was just an introduction to get you to, um, to get you involved to get you to understand what this was going to be about the next few tutorials i want to get straight in i want to talk straight about the different concepts available different languages um and um yeah um if you have any suggestions just before i post the next video if you have any comments please do rate please do subscribe and please do send me a message if you're unsure about something or if you'd like to, me to change something maybe you might want me to teach differently maybe you want me to do less talking or do this or do that whatever you have whatever suggestions you have please do message me them and i'll take them into account when i make the next few tutorials um thank you very much and yeah bye